Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. And welcome back. Or welcome to my channel. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I know it seems like I say it every time, but I've just had a really hectic and chaotic last month. Honestly, last year. Um, but I want everyone to know that I think we're on the other side of it. And things are looking up, so... I think November, and from here on out, is going to be my month of... Just focusing on myself and doing the things that I want. And that includes these videos. I've missed making these videos. I've missed you guys so incredibly much. So I, I am so excited to be back. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank the sponsor, Dossier. Dossier has been a long-term supporter of my channel. We've worked together for probably over a year now. Um, and I, I love what they do. I love their colognes. I love colognes. I, love, I think scent is something that's so incredibly important. Gives a great first impression and a lasting impression. Uh, they sent me three this month. The Fougere Oud, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Green Verbena, which is inspired by Creed Green Irish Tweed. And then my favorite of these three, which is Woody Geranium, which is inspired by Mont Blanc Legend. Dossier um, cologne is luxury quality, sustainably made, fairly priced, smells incredible, and the impressions are spot on to luxury brands. But the benefit of these is that you can get five per the cost of one luxury brand cologne. I wear their cologne every single day, so much so that all of my friends love them and have complimented me on my scent, and I think I've given or gifted one of my clones to, I think, each one of them, yeah, because they have um, male, female, unisex, they have different types of, not only just colognes and perfumes, but they have room diffusers, candles, just so many options, so please make sure to check them out. You can use my link and information that's down below in the description. And don't forget to use my code for a discount as well. Thank you so much to Dossier for working with me for yet another video. Please make sure to check them out. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm all thirsty, so I'm gonna start off with a drink, but for today's video, it's gonna be really relaxed and chill because I haven't been back in so long. I wanna make sure I didn't forget how to do this. Um, no, but I just have uh, like 10 to 12 triggers laid out, and I'm gonna be doing those while I'm also giving you a life update because I feel like it's not right if I just jump right back in and pretend like my month-long gap uh, isn't something that might cause a little concern for you guys, so... on all the good because it's like I said it's all looking up to start I um, started my clinical 
for my physical therapy program. These are actually the last couple of clinicals I have. Um, I'll be in clinical from now until about March 16th or so. And um, I'll graduate in May. And then I'm pretty much done. When I get back in March, um, we're going to do boards prep. And so boards prep is basically after our three-year doctorate program, we have to take a license, a board exam, in order to get our actual physical therapy license. And that's necessary to make sure, like, you have baseline competence in order to be able to be a physical therapist. I believe there's something similar to it in pretty much all doctorate programs and all healthcare professions. But clinicals for me basically look like... I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm paying them to work, basically, but it's an incredible experience. So for this setting, um, I'm in different types of settings for my clinicals. For this, this next two months until December, I think 18th, I'm in acute care. Um, I am working in one of the biggest and best hospitals in the country, which is awesome. It's a very, very good opportunity. Um, and I'm also working in the medical ICU. And for those of you who do not know what the medical ICU is, that's basically where you go if or when you are very, very, very sick. Like, near death sick. And a lot of the patients I see are, it's really like poly substance abusers or you know people that just didn't take the best care of themselves or their health and then there's also the patients that you know got really sick with covid or kidney disease lung disease things like that and oftentimes when we get them at first uh they're like sedated or asleep and what we kind of do is we go in and we do like an initial eval. Whether that's with just the patient or with the patient and their family. And then we assess, you know, what's going on with like their movement, their body. And even whenever you're asleep, you still need to move. Otherwise, your joints and your muscles will kind of just stiffen and then... When you wake up and you're ready to be active, you won't be ready because you're going to be stuck in these positions that you just laid in for, you know, a month plus. And so with that, um, physical therapy comes in and looks at other things like skin and stuff like that. But we need to start doing some like passive range of motion and make sure that the people are all, you know, still moving and sitting up and trying to, you know, avoid any, like, pneumonia or other secondary uh, concerns or impairments. But then, once they're awake, even if they're not necessarily cognizant or, um, like, oriented or aware of what's going on, we still try to get them to sit up 
And if they're able to, the goal, the end goal is uh, inevitably to have them try to walk around and get them to walk around. And then from the medical ICU, once they're discharged, it's kind of on us to decide where their next step or next stages for therapy are. Whether that's skilled nursing facility, long care, long term acute care, home health, or just home with family. It's also up to the patient on what they want to do, but we just give our, you know, professional opinion and educated opinion. But those are the people that I've been working with lately. And it's crazy. It's really fun. But it's, it's a lot. It's kind of sad because I think since I've been there, and it's only been about a week and a half, two weeks, I think I've seen about four or five patients pass away. Um, and it's unfortunate, but, you know, like we, the, the hospitals like did the best they can and all that stuff, but unfortunately in that setting, it's just kind of part of what happens. where I'm going to be for the next two months, which I'm excited about. The hours are a lot, I'm not going to lie, but um, because they're a lot, I also get a few extra days off during the week. I'm just kind of tired and miserable. I'm not miserable, but like my body is super exhausted whenever I'm actually there and working because they're like 10 to 12 hour days for multiple days in a row. I want to play with this sponge. I love this sponge. But with, like I said, those extra days off, I already have my schedule made, and I'm going to be consistently and hopefully for the rest of the time being posting on Wednesdays and Sundays again. I'm going to post this video today. I'm filming this at, I think it's like 6.30, maybe even 7 p.m. So this is going to be a late upload, but I hope that you guys still enjoy it. And then I'll go back to posting at 5 p.m., 4 or 5 p.m. Central Time. Uh, for the rest of the time.
guys. I missed this so much. I missed you guys so much. I, I hope you're excited to have me back. I have so many cool ideas. I'm so excited. stuff that I've been pretty occupied with is trying to get you guys know like I've always been pretty into like working out and wellness and fitness and all of that I mean I'm a physical therapist that's makes sense but I've been really trying to I'd love to figure out a way to incorporate you know my education with physical therapy into um, my love of wellness and health. And some of you might know I made a fitness Instagram. There's just a few posts on there about like some of the daily workouts that I do and stuff like that. But I kind of want to work on it and develop it and figure out what I really want to do with it because I want it to be more than just a picture of me after I lift every single day. Whether that's explaining a workout, explaining the benefit of a workout using, you know, my physical therapy knowledge, or talking about, you know, common um, orthopedic things that, or injuries that people have and how you can like go about fixing that. This thing and the way it sounds is so mesmerizing. So another thing that I've been really thinking about, it's going to take a good bit of time, so I also need to think about how to do this without um, taking time away from this channel. Um, for those of you who do know or didn't know, I made a second channel, and it's called Aaron Squared, and it was going to be about, um, like, some other just, like, fun little, like, things to do that I wanted to, like, film with you guys, and I still kind of like that idea, but I'm kind of curious would you guys like to see more vlogs and that type of video? Um, obviously, I can do ASMR vlogs if that's something that you guys would find interesting. But I also could do... I used to, last year, I think around this time, is when I started doing um, real vlogs. Uh, like, just me talking and kind of, like, bringing you with me throughout my day. And I love doing it. Um, I, I wasn't really doing anything that exciting, and I still don't do anything that exciting. 
but I do think that it could be fun to show you guys kind of how I go throughout my days, you know, fitting in work, meal prepping, food, working out, enjoying your life still. I think it could be fun to kind of bring you guys along with me and show you a little bit of how I do that. Or just kind of giving you a little bit more insight to my life. I, I don't know. Some of you guys might not really understand why I'm in this new room. Um, so with my clinical, it's not in where I go to college. It's about two hours away. And I put a random ad on one of, on Snapchat on my story. And luckily there was this amazing person that I had connected with a while back that reached out and said that they were um, renovating their basement to be made for travel nursing. And then I could move here if I wanted. And it could not have been a better opportunity. Like, I love this place. It's not, like, crazy nice, but it's just he, uh, my roommate that uh, I moved in with, he's absolutely incredible. I love talking to him. We have a lot in common, so we get to just, like, laugh. And it's, it's awesome to have somebody to come home to and talk to, especially with how crazy life has been lately. And then he has this place set up really cute, and it's just very cozy. It's probably honestly the most homey I've felt in anywhere I've lived. And I've only been here for like two, three weeks. first Halloween was yesterday. I did not do a lot. I, I, um, I hung out with some friends this weekend, this past weekend, but last night I wasn't really feeling that great anyway, so I just stayed in and watched a scary movie. on Hulu for free, or you can rent it on Amazon Prime. Not an ad, obviously. Uh, not sponsored, obviously, but I love that movie. It's really unique. I don't, I've never, I really can't say that I've seen many movies like it. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's really creative. It's really smart, in my opinion. Next up, we're just going to do these two little red solo cups.
know I said that I have a lot of ideas for videos, but I also feel like I owe it to you guys to do the videos that you want. So if you think of or have any ideas of videos, let me know. I really, really want to get into role plays. Um, I kind of want to practice my acting uh, and just see how um, I love role play videos. Um, and I, I kind of want to really get into it and get into the theme and some props and stuff like that. So if you can think of any role plays or just any simple trigger videos you would like to see, let me know. Um, I'm going to move on to this sponge here because it sounds super good too. sounds. I, I've said it a million times, but I miss you so much. I miss this so much, and I'm so excited to be back. Um, I hope you guys are excited to have me back. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring another video. Please make sure to check them out. Um, I really do love what they do. I love uh, their product. I love their brand. I love their cologne um, and their candles. They, there's not a ton of them, but they are beyond incredible, so I highly recommend those as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Good night, everyone.